Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Taylor Combalusier, a Red Mining uh, mining Analyst at Red Cloud Securities. This session of our Fall Mining Showcase will feature, feature Getchel Gold. From the company, we have with us Mike Seed, the President and Director. I'll note that if any attendees have questions, they can just type it in the chat bar on the side and we'll get to it at the end of the presentation. And the uh, presentation for the company is also posted on the conference website. And with that, I'll turn it over to Mike to guide us through the story. Well, thanks, Taylor, and, and thanks, everybody, for uh, uh, coming out and, and seeing the uh, presentation on our uh, Fondaway Canyon Gold Project in Nevada. And as you can see by the, uh, the cover slide here, uh, this is uh, the example of what Fondaway Canyon looks like uh, uh, with a view to the, uh, the west. Uh, far out in the distance is Carson Sinks, which is one of the larger basins in uh, Nevada for the area. And 40 kilometers from where I've taken this photo is the major uh, interstate highway that runs from Reno uh, through Winnemucca and Elko. I just want to make everybody uh, aware of, uh, of our forward-looking statements. Uh, taking a quick snapshot of the company, uh, we have a fairly uh, good share uh, capital structure. Uh, you can see how many shares outstanding we have. Uh, our warrants are actually all pretty much all in the money. Uh, so you're looking at another injection of uh, $3 million into our kitty. Uh, that's going to, uh, I expect or anticipate, uh, happening over the next uh, year and or two. Uh, and we currently have $3 million in our bank account as we speak. Uh, we do have an ongoing drill program uh, that is uh, uh, having a, a certain burn uh, of that. Uh, but by the end of the drill program, we should be actually quite healthy, uh, sitting at about 2 or $2.5 million in the bank. Uh, so we are a fairly strongly positioned company. Uh, and of course, in a very strong gold market, uh, you can see by our stock chart uh, the oh, the last twelve months trading, uh, the acc accretion in value, and I, I do anticipate that with the significance of our Fondue Canyon asset, uh, that uh, the company and the asset itself uh, will continue to accrete value. Uh, Nevada. Uh, Nevada is an, an impressive location to work. Uh, if, if you look at the uh, all the, the uh, yellow diamonds in Nevada, th that signifies 23 producing gold mines. And I, I didn't even have room to even write the word Nevada in, in the state. Uh, it's extremely prolific in, in gold uh, discoveries and uh, development. And I, I can not say uh, many good things about Nevada. It has a defined pathway for exploration uh, as well as development. So it is one of the top jurisdictions in the world, and we are happy to be operating there, especially with uh, the Fondway Canyon project. Uh, looking uh, on, a, on a map for the location, you can see where Fondway Canyon sits in relationship to Reno. It's a very quick, uh, less than two-hour drive uh, right up the canyon and to where we're currently drilling. Uh, I'm not going to talk about our other projects, except very quickly, Star Point. Star Point is another developing uh, pro project of ours. Uh, we're currently running an IP survey uh, to tee up uh, drilling for next year. It's a very attractive, high-grade copper, uh, gold, and silver showing, and we're looking for a significant porphyry, copper porphyry target at Star Point. So that should be kind of quite exciting for, uh, uh, for our work for next year. Uh, looking at Fondue Canyon, what is initially uh, quite significant is that when we acquired it, it already had a historic resource of greater than 400,000 ounces in the indicated category and 600,000 ounces in the inferred. So, so this is quite a significant with ounces in the ground uh, property uh, that we, uh, we acquired. And uh, as I walk through the presentation, I'm going to tell you that this is just a starting point. Uh, this is actually a kind of a fairly restricted uh, resource, and I'm going to show you why I think uh, that the mineralizing system at uh, Fondue Canyon is uh, a lot more uh, robust and significant than what's just stated uh, herein. Looking at the entire sort of Fondue uh, Canyon uh, gold uh, footprint uh, that we currently see, uh, from left to right, uh, that represents three and a half kilometer sort of east-west extent of mineralization. And in red, we've sort of like highlighted all the, the major uh, uh, quartz uh, 
uh, shear zones, gold bearing quartz shear zones that we see at surface. Uh, for our historic resource, uh, just within the paper rate, and this is only about a 10 meter wide zone, uh, fairly vertical here at, at, at this location and, and trending east-west. This one area here represents just 50% uh, of the historic resource. So it doesn't even encapsulate what we think is the entire sort of like lower grade halo. Uh, the, uh, the area that was um, modeled for a historic resource was modeled for an underground mine, so actually fairly restrictive. Uh, it had a high cutoff of uh, 3.4 grams gold uh, and 1.8 meter mining width. So the, the, the 600,000 ounce in the indicated and the 400,000 ounce in the, uh, sorry, in the, it's a 400,000 ounce in the indicated and the 600,000 ounce in the inferred uh, were uh, limited. Uh, it was just modeled over uh, 12 uh, distinct shear zones. And over the next number of slides, I am going to show you, it, there's actually an incredibly large envelope of gold mineralization that's not en encapsulated within that historic resource. Uh, looking again, uh, you can kind of see the, the strong east-west component, but right in the middle, uh, there's a, a major secondary gold control that is, is actually forms major gold corridors, northeast-southwest gold corridors. Uh, it forms an H, so it's an inter it's an intersection of these northeast southwest zones as well as these east west zones, and it forms a large uh, intermingling nut of gold mineralization. When it's modeled in 3D, you can see the central area here uh, with a very broad gold domain at 0.25 grams per ton gold. So from vertically here, this represents about 300 meters in vertical extent of known gold mineralization to date, as well as 800 meters by about 700 meters in size. So this is quite a significant area, and it's still completely open along, along strike and open to depth, and it is expressed at surface. So this is, this is quite impressive. And from the top of Hamburger Hill all the way to uh, the far uh, east, uh, the uh, these significant and broad gold intersections at the pediment zone, it, there's also a 600 meter vertical extent of known gold mineralization. So this is an absolutely extensive gold mineralizing system uh, that had been going on for quite a significant period of time. So what we see here, I think, is still only part of, of the bigger picture. Um, this is what it looks like at surface. Uh, and this is only focusing in on the central area. Uh, you can see uh, from Colorado, uh, the paperweight zone, half moon. And you can see an example of some of the historic uh, small pits that were, that were mined in the past. Uh, this is Fond du Lhac Canyon proper. And you can see the site, uh, uh, Tenneco in the 1980s, uh, set up a portal and a tunnel, and they wanted to test and, and do some sort of like just bulk sampling. Uh, there was never any mining done underground, just some bulk sampling uh, of, of the half moon uh, zone. Looking at it from, surf, uh, from uh, aerial, from satellite, uh, you can see the central area again, uh, the paperweight zone. And what I'm going to be focused on on here very quickly is, is showing you kind of what the mineralization is doing uh, under the surface. So I'm going to go from section to section from B to B prime, and then from C to C prime, uh, these northeast southwest corridors. And, and this is sort of like the main, main gold corridors that we see in this area. And then I'm going to focus in on sort of like what the high grade looks like. Because there, besides the, um, the low grade envelope that we see here, uh, there, there is sort of significant high-grade conduits, and the half-moon shear zone is a, is a prime example. So you can see all the past drilling. The past drilling has been focused near surface um, at the Colorado. Uh, multiple, multiple drilling. Uh, for the entirety of the property, you're looking at over 700 uh, drill holes. Uh, most of them have been uh, focused on near surface. The most recent drill campaign uh, was in 2017. And 2017 was just starting to test the downward extent of the mineralization. And this gives you a, a, 
a real good example of, of what the mineralization is doing as it extends down from Colorado. You're seeing 2.8 grams per ton gold over 65 meters and 1.8 grams gold over 63 meters. And we anticipate, and, and in our geological model, uh, that rather than being vertically uh, constrained, uh, you have this continuation of the mineralization that dips at a very shallow minus 20 degrees uh, for a, a, an extensive uh, distance. Uh, for example, in uh, hole 1701, right at the bottom of the drill intersection came up with 1.3 grams or a fix of 56 meters. Right in the middle, there was an old homestake hole that was drilled in 1985 that came up with better than a 100 meter intersection. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be actually proving up the known mineralization, but we're actually going to be starting to connect the dots with our, with our current drill plan. And we're going to be extending out and connecting up this mineralization and really sort of like, like building on the, uh, the historic resource. Uh, this is the parallel uh, section, uh, northeast, southwest section to the uh, east from paperweight all the way to the south pit. And it has the same characteristics very, very broad uh, mineralization that is all through this section. Uh, back in 2017, at the far uh, left of the section, uh, there, was a broad, there was an intersection uh, that ran 3.5 grams over 12.8 meters right at the bottom of the drill hole. And once again, according to our geological model, if you follow the dashed orange line, this should all connect up and form a really significant broad zone of, of mineralization. Uh, looking what it looks like underground. So this is specifically the half moon shear vein, uh, high grade, uh, upwards of, you can do channel samples upwards of an ounce uh, material. Uh, it's, it's not a distinct quartz vein, but it is a distinct gold zone that you see underground. Uh, the portal was driven in uh, into the, uh, the northern uh, slope of the, the hill. Uh, and this example here is the last face of the underground drift right along the half moon shear vein, 75 meters below surface. But this, again, is only a small part of the picture. The historic drilling has continued to extend the mineralization at depth greater than 250 meters below. So, again, this is a very continuous gold mineralizing system that continues to express itself as we drill. An example of what the, when I say a kind of a high grade conduit, an example is this is the underground drift uh, that was developed in the in the late eighties by Tenneco. Uh, these are the advancing faces and a, a composite channel sample of the advancing faces. And where the photo was taken in the last slide at the last most eastern face, it ran uh, gold through the entire four point three meters, grading about twelve point four grams. Individual channel samples of 1.5 meters were uh, better than 16. And you can see how some of the individual channel samples are running uh, significantly high at uh, you know, 24 grams over 1.8 meters. So wh when, you're, when you're thinking about this, this property, you're, you're, you're kind of, it's, it's extremely impressive how large and broad and fairly continuous the gold mineralization is. But there are also uh, strong uh, high-grade conduits in there that, that could really be exploited and, and add to the economics of the project. Now, just kind of shifting gears, we're going to go out to the far west. Uh, you can see uh, uh, the Southmouth Open Pit. Uh, this is the site of uh, sort of like the majority of the small-scale open pit uh, mining that occurred at the south mouth here. You can see the remediated leach pad location just off here, off to the pediment, off to the left. Uh, approximately 155,000 tons of material was extracted here, uh, grading better than uh, well, one gram. Uh, but this is right at the range front and off to the west of the range front, you have an alluvial uh, blanket. You know, it's probably about 50 feet or 100 feet thick. Um, and in 2002, there were two vertical drill holes that were drilled out here just to test and see what the mineralization was doing as it continues out. And both these holes, you know, what, what are the odds? But both these holes intersected broad zones of, of new mineralization. Uh, 
And rather than being kind of in the uh, the argillite host rock that you see here, and all the way to the uh, to the east at the at the central area, this was actually in limestone. So this was actually quite surprising. Uh, it's very very akin uh, to the Carlin style mineralization, and, and if you were to drill these two holes first in a program you would be very excited, very impressed with these two holes uh, because we don't even know what's underneath there. This could be a whole other significant uh, uh, source or zone of the mineralization, and, and it is in sort of like the excellent uh, host rock expressing it very, very similar to uh, the Carlin-style mineralization that is, uh, that is mined to the north. So this is an additional target, and it's a target uh, unto itself. So kind of putting it all into perspective, um, this is a really extensive gold mineralizing system. Uh, looking back at the 3D model, what I've highlighted here is I've highlighted the, uh, the higher grade material that resides within that broader uh, gold domain. Uh, the red is grading group, uh, greater than one gram per ton. And if you look off to the right, this is what the half moon shear vein uh, looks like at surface. Uh, it's running high grade through here. Uh, this is a really nice sort of like structural juncture. Uh, the face wall uh, is 15 meters high. And uh, just putting in perspective, underneath where this individual is standing, the gold mineralization goes down for another 200, 250 meters below where he stands. So this is, this, this is sort of like the start of something for, for us. Um, you're looking at uh, you know, uh, quite an enticing uh, property, uh, and uh, the f the footprint and the expression of the mineralization that we've seen to date, uh, just just uh, sort of uh, screams opportunity. Uh, we're currently uh, finishing off a 2,000 meter drill program. We anticipate that the drill program will be completed by the end of uh, uh, October, and we're going to be receiving um, drill results from through November and December. So it should be quite a, an exciting end to the year. Uh, and then we're looking for only bigger and better things in, in 2021. So, so for a company, um, if, if you haven't heard of us yet, uh, it's Getchell Gold Corp. Uh, we trade on uh, with the trading symbol of GTCH. Um, and if you haven't heard of us yet, you will, because we're going to be one of the sort of more prominent new players in, in the Nevada area. So with that statement, I'm going to pass it over uh, back to uh, Taylor. Great. Thank you very much, Mike. That was a great presentation. Um, so kind of continuing um, on the drill results theme, we have a question in here. Um, you know, it says, I'll just read it. Assuming drill results meet expectations, what does 2021 resource, uh, 2021 resource development plan look like? Um, it's... The, uh, the historic resource did not uh, encapsulate or, or, or incorporate the 2017 drilling. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to then compile the 2017 drilling in conjunction with our 2020 drilling and update uh, the geological model as well as the resource model and kind of bring it up to, uh, uh, up to current. And so that's kind of one of the first things we're going to be looking at in the new year. Uh, but the other thing is, is I'm, I'm fairly confident we're, 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 we're in a really good position uh, financially um, sort of uh, shareholders, extremely strong shareholder base. Uh, we're looking at probably a significant raise in the new year to really take the project to the next stage. And with the strong gold market that we see, uh, I don't I don't really see anything kind of slowing us down in the new year. It's, it's just going to get bigger and better. Okay. And um, another question, uh, again, on uh, kind of assay results. Uh, we keep hearing labs are backed up these days, especially in Nevada. Um, do you have uh, an idea of when investors can expect initial uh, drill assays? Yeah, I figure mid, mid October should probably be the first, sorry, I apologize, mid, mid November should be the first time we see uh, news. Uh, but it should come in a series through November and December. And, and yes, labs are all backed up. Uh, and it's more due to uh, the people in the prep labs or the shortage of people that they have rather than sort of like the bulk of samples that are that are appearing. Okay. Um, and I guess just really quickly, um, 
another question. Given the COVID issues, are there key personnel in Nevada right now? There are. Uh, as we are actively running a, a, a program, uh, we have... Uh, quite fortunate for us, uh, the COVID has not impacted us whatsoever in regards to our operation and what we want to do. Uh, the majority of the uh, early 2020 was compiling the, in the, the large database that we received. Uh, so we're talking about 735 historic drill holes that had never really been kind of pulled into one place and one geological model. So COVID-19 uh, the sort of like the hiatus on operation was actually quite uh, beneficial to us because it gave us the time to to really work together and understand the project, and and we're capitalizing on it by sort of like a very strategic uh, drill program right now uh, that uh, has no wastage to it. It's 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 doing uh, multifold. Uh, 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 <laughs> it's, it's meeting multifold objectives. It's proving up the historic mineralization at the same time that we've, that we've designed it. So it's going to extend the known mineralization. So it's, it's very lean. Uh, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be quite an advantage to us. And moving forward, um, the, we don't see any real uh, interference in the operation moving forward. Perfect. And with that, uh, we are out of time. So we'll just wrap it up there. And uh, thank you again, Mike, for presenting today. Okay. Well, awesome. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Taylor. And uh, look for us, uh, Getchell Gold Corp, uh, with the trading symbol of uh, GTCH. <laughs>